Hi, everyone, and welcome back to Brian's Horror Corner, and welcome to this Simpsons Treehouse of Horror review video as part of my September series. Um, today, we're going to take a look at Treehouse of Horror number 10 from season 11 show. So, I realize I forgot to do this in my last video, and probably some other ones too, but I forgot to give the little blurb about what Treehouse of Horror is for those of you that are new to this series. So, I'll start with that. Treehouse of Horror, also known as The Simpsons Halloween Special, is a series of Halloween-themed episodes of the animated sitcom The Simpsons, each consisting of three separate self-contained segments. These segments usually involve the family in some horror, science fiction, or supernatural setting, and always take place outside the normal continuity of the show and are therefore considered to be non-canon. So yeah, we're up to the 10th one. Now I'm going to do one more after this. The first 12 seasons of The Simpsons. I'm covering the Treehouse of Horror episode. So so yeah, this is uh, this is Halloween special number 10 from season 11. Overall episode two, 230, um, number B B A B F O one for you stat nerds. Um, this episode aired on October 31st, 1999, so on Halloween that year, 1999, which I actually remember that Halloween pretty well, actually. Um, so, yeah, let's just go ahead and get into it. So, they don't really have a wraparound, but it does have a kind of a cool, funny introduction where they're, like, celebrating that it's the Simpsons 10th uh, Treehouse of Horror episode. So, Kane and Kodos comes out of, like, a spaceship on a stage, and they're trying to tell jokes to a bunch of other aliens and... Uh, it doesn't go so well. And then they cut to the Simpsons couch gag, which is funny because it uses the Simpsons from from previous Treehouse of Horror. Like you have Homer when he was turned into a, a, a jack-in-the-box by Bart in one of the early Treehouse of Horror. You have Marge from the most recent one uh, where she's a witch. You have um, Maggie where, from the previous one where she's like an alien. Um, Kane and Kodos' his daughter, basically. Um, I forget what Bart, uh, oh, he's the fly from that, from that, uh, segment. So that was kind of cool and funny, I thought, for the couch game. So then we get into our three segments here. So the first one's entitled, I Know What You Diddly Italy Did, um, which is obviously a take on I Know What You Did Last Summer. Um, this was, um, this was written by Pete, or, or I'm sorry, the, this episode's, uh, directed by Pete Michaels. This segment was written by Donna Carey. Um, and it's, of course, what you would think it is. It's basically the Simpsons are driving home at night and they end up, they end up hitting something on their way home and it ends up being Flanders who's laying in the middle of the road. So they try to cover it up. Just like, just like I know what you did last summer. Um, they have Flanders funeral and the whole works. And then, um, as they return to their house, they're in their house one night and all of a sudden there's, a somebody in a rain slicker with a hook. This is a really, it's a, it's a strange episode because how you think it's going to go like the, like the movie. I know what you did last summer. It ends up having a pretty different twist at the end, which I actually kind of enjoyed where Flanders isn't quite, um, quite Ben Willis from the movie, if you will. And um, yeah, I don't know. I kind of enjoyed this segment to be honest with you. I thought it was a pretty good Halloween segment. Um, and so then next we get desperately, Desperately uh, Zeking Zena. Desperately Xing Zena, I should say. <laughs> Which is a fantastic, it's a takeoff on the Fantastic Four as well as Zena, the, the, you know, the, the TV show. This was uh, written by Tim Long. And this is a really weird episode. Not really much of a Halloween one, more of a superhero one. Where Bart and Lisa end up getting, uh, where well, they're at school and they get zapped by a, it's like a it's like a candy um, X ray machine to, that they have at school where kids are getting all their candy tested and X ray to make sure there isn't anything bad with it, um, and it ends up zapping Bart and Lisa and Bart becomes um, Clobber Girl, super strength and Bart Stretch Dude. So then it kind of goes into like a parody of <coughs> Stretch Dude and Clobber Girl, like a like a a superhero sort of TV show. And then in this particular episode, you have the comic book guy is the collector. And he's at a, he ends up capturing Xena or Lucy Lawless who plays Xena at a, like a comic, uh, 
kind of a comic show, um, Comic Con, basically, kind of thing with the, all the nerds that are there asking her questions. And so he captures her, and then and then uh, Stretch Dude and Clobber Girl Bart and Lisa have to go try to rescue her, but they get knocked out. And ultimately, Zena ends up fighting this guy off. Um, it's like I said, it's got it's it's not horrible. I mean, it's got some 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 pretty good humor in it, but it just doesn't feel like a Simpsons Treehouse of Horror um, segment. Um, so I can't say it really stands out that well in the context of, of these reviews. And then our third and final segment is Life's a Glitch, Then You Die, which is based on the two, the, um, the year 2000, um, Y2J, Y2K. Um, if you're, if any of you are old enough to remember that, the Y2K problem, this was written by Ron Hauge. Um, so this is basically one where Homer forgets to, as, um, he's like the Y2K person at the nuclear power plant, and uh, he forgets to sort of tidy everything up as it's New Year's Eve, and it's they're counting down like the last minute to to January 1st, 2000. Everything goes haywire. Um, it goes to 1900, and everything starts going haywire. It's actually kind of funny. There's um, Dick Clark is actually like cameoed in it. Um, and he start he melts down and is revealed to be like a robot, and you know the the like the lights start shooting lasers out of like the, the street lights and stuff. It's really it's kind of funny. And then um, they discover there there's a there's a ship that's heading to Mars to to colonize a different planet and for people to get off of Earth because it's basically um, like the apocalypse. So. But Lisa's accepted onto it, but she can only take one parent, which is kind of a funny joke as they ask her. I know this is a difficult decision, but you're only allowed to take a mom. So, and then Bart and, uh, Bart and Homer can't go with Marge, Lisa, and Maggie, so they end up finding another ship. And it ends up going to not the same spot. I don't want to give too much away, although I guess I already did, but... <clears throat> So that's life's a glitch. Then you die. It's okay. Again, it plays on the Y two K thing, which is a little outdated now the way it turned out. But this was kind of what a lot of people feared in real life that could happen, and was just taken up to like the nth degree. But um, overall, as far as reviewing these three segments, I would say that I know what you did. Italy, Italy did would definitely be number one because it's got some good humor and it's the most sort of Halloween. Related episode. And I also like the twist that it had in it that Flanders isn't like Ben Willis. Like you get, then I know what you did last summer, which is obviously what's it a takeoff of. Then I'd probably go Life's a Glitch, then you die, number two, and then Desperately Zeking Xena um, is number three. And like I said, it's not a bad thing, but it's just really has nothing to do with Halloween. It's kind of a superhero parody that they put in there and got Lucy Lawless to guest star. So. I can't really say it's any higher than that. So yeah, those are that's that's how I view um, Treehouse of Horror uh, number ten or Simpsons Halloween Special 10, 10th anniversary. I did like the opening to it, like I said, with the couch gag, and I did like the first segment. I know what you did, Lee, the um, first that first segment. The other two are just kind of meh. Could take them or leave them. So go ahead and comment down below what you guys think of Treehouse of Horror. Um, number 10, episode number 10 from season 11, overall episode 230 from October 31st, 1999. Um, please like this video and hit the little notification bell down below so you don't miss any of my upcoming reviews for this series, which is only one more. But then, I, of course, I also have the ranking, both in terms of the 11 episodes of the Treehouse of Horrors that I'm doing and the 33 segments, as it were, from my least favorite to my favorite. Also, be sure to subscribe to my channel because we're coming up on my 31 Days of Halloween Horror series in October here, as well as some other good things that I have coming up content-wise for the rest of the year. So thank you for watching this video. Hope you're doing well. Stay scared. Bye.